G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just about to leave the post house in Vanningup and we're heading to the Blackwood Shelter on the Bibbulmun Trek. So off we go, it's just after 4am. Let's be careful, it's dark around the corner here. Oh, there we go. First thing, spider. He's having an ant for breakfast by the way. Good morning sheep. Nearly an hour in, and the head torch is off now. Walking through the trees, looking at all the silhouettes. Some rabbits over there. Looking at all the silhouettes of the trees with the, light, the sky behind us beginning to lighten up was quite beautiful. And the smell, a lot of these trees walking through here are from around all different parts of the world. And some from where I grew up as a child and some of them smells brought back some memories oh, this is beautiful here though just taking it nice and easy this morning Two hours in nearly. Uh, this last hour we've had a bit of a gravel track which has had an uh, incline. Not the steepest, not the shallowest either. But what made it worse was it just went on and on and on and on and on. <clears throat> Looking back to when I first did the Bibbulmun track or started doing it. I struggled quite a lot on sections like that. I'd have to start, uh, stop 
about eight, nine times. And I just realized today walking up there, I didn't stop, not once. So that means I've got fitter, which is good. I think walking regular has helped and doing the smaller walks in the week doing the odd five or ten kilometer walk and when I don't have a chance to do them ones I do the walks at only about one or two kilometers they've all added up in making me fitter making it easier for these inclines and uh, so I just got to a section I'm just double checking where I am yeah so just doing them little bits in the week if you're not able to get out on the track or do longer walks all help and all add up so let's see how the next one hour goes or ish hour i might end up doing it a little bit earlier i might forget kokobara and do it longer than an hour but i'll see you shortly
three hours in. And the last hour has been really, well, really easy, I think I'd say. Very gentle inclines, declines. And about uh, 20 minutes back, I was uh, came to the point we could look over all the farmland. And they've got a bench there so they can want to sit down and just relax. It's beautiful that was, that view. And like I said, the walk so far has just been fairly gentle inclines, declines, or the last hour has. So, yeah, it's really been nice. Still not warmed up all the way to take the beanie off. Maybe in another hour. So what's it now? It's about seven o'clock now. Yeah, it's not freezing cold anymore, but there's still that chill. I was getting a bite and I keep having to blow the nose. There's a cold making it run. And uh, here we go, look at the views. Isn't it just fantastic? Okay, carry on. Jones Dam. The sun just flickering. <whistles> Nearly four hours in, and after the dam. There's a fairly steep incline and on the other side it seemed as if the decline was even steeper. It's uh, leveled out a little bit, it's still got a uh, decline, it's still going down, but it's just not as steep at the moment. This last hour hasn't been too bad to be honest, apart from that little bit then and that water on the dam or in the dam the reflections on the water was just beautiful just flickering uh, yeah the last two hours I meant to mention in the, the one before this hour there's been a lot of cobwebs a lot of spiders webs so look out for them I think I've been hitting the face about 12-13 times so far and a few times around the waist and that's including the ones I've dodged and shoved out of the way or not including the ones I've dodged and moved out of the way but it's been really nice still still enjoying it out here it's nearly time to take the beanie off and the jacket off and see what I can about cobwebs there's a spider and web on me there or was gone okay I'll see you again shortly
five hours in and the majority of the last hour we've been walking down the gravel track along the side of the farms and now we're actually walking through the farmer's property we have about 2.7 kilometers to go so that's going to be up and up and up at least when we get there we could be sit down and have a rest and look at the beautiful views on the top it hasn't been that bad in the sense of uh, incline decline but I would recommend walking poles and uh, I'd recommend carrying two because with the ups and downs you got and um, down the gravel tracks and up the gravel tracks there's a lot of loose gravel underneath your feet and even with the poles I was slipping but lucky I had the poles because they stopped me going on my ass a few times so yes poles are a necessity and went over the hill you can see the track goes up over and up and in I think he carries on up to that one and yeah I've got the fly net on since we got close to the farms the flies being bloody terrible. Onwards and upwards. See you shortly. Six hours in, or just under six hours, and I've made it to the Blackwood Shelter Stroke Campsite. Uh, the last hour, I think last time I spoke to you it was at five hours, and I just got into the farmer's field. And all these flies had not long been following me. Well, from that point, all the way to the shelter, how can I put it nicely, it's the worst part of the track from Balling up to Blackwood. From that point when I saw five hours, it just went uphill, 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 onto the track, uphill, turn into the um, pine forest, down a little bit, then uphill, uphill, and then eventually when you got to the edge of the pine forest to come through the scrub bit here, the side of the hill, he was going through all the thorns or the thistles or the uh, black blackberries or uh, bushes or black currants, black blackberry, uh, black currants, sorry, bushes. Uh, signs there he's saying, "Don't please don't eat," because they've been sprayed. So you're getting your legs scratched on them, your arms scratched on them, and the thorns and everything, the thistles, the head height. And you was up and down the side of the hill, but you weren't just walking up the hill and down the hill, you're walking across the hill. So you was going across, going up and down, up and down. So your left leg was always higher than your right leg. So that put a strain on the left leg and then a bit of a strain on the right ankle from dropping down much further. But after all that, I still enjoyed it. It's still lovely. Uh, I think I was carrying about four or five hundred bloody flies with me, maybe more. Wouldn't mind if they was holding the pack and actually flapping their wings and lifting the weight off, but they weren't, they were just sitting on the bugger. But yeah, now this, this, this section from Bunningup was really, really nice and it's uh, the views. The views are beautiful. As you can see behind me now, looking from Blackwood, <laughs> it just, it's just beautiful, it is. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, and it's the first time you've been to my channel, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and select all, so you can be notified of all future videos coming up. And select the thumbs up, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until the next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.